You know, these days there's a lot of electronics that uh, go along with your RV that go in the cab of your vehicle. For example, this is a Furion backup camera that actually provides a backup signal from the camera on the RV itself. Well, here's the problem. The thing is a suction cup, and if I put it on the windshield, <laughs> this thing falls off. You know, those suction cups just don't hold all that well. And so I got it on a beanbag mount that has a suction cup, but the antenna can't extend all the way. And, you know, you got this wire draping down here, and it's just a mess. You know, also I have a TPMS system, and so where am I going to put that? I mean, I'm going to have to suction cup that next to it. And you got stuff suctioned up all over the window, and I suppose you could get a ticket even. So I got to thinking, I got this big console between the seats and the pickup truck. And it's got, you know, a place for a USB. It's got a 120 volt inverter. It's got a couple uh, 12 volt adapters. So why don't I just get a piece of uh, acrylic, or plexiglass if you want to call it that, and just lay it in here. And the acrylic, of course, is non-porous, so the suction cups with these mounts will, will fit in here pretty good. And with this project, I'm using a piece of plexiglass that I've already cut to size. And also I got some taco marine lumber, which is also known as starboard or sea foam. I'm going to cut the taco lumber out to make little standoffs uh, for this piece of plexiglass. So now I have the two pieces of starboard cut out, and I've got them marked here and they're just going to go like that and that's the support pieces that this whole thing will rest on so what I have to do is you can't glue this stuff at all so what I'm going to do is put a couple holes in here and screw it in now when you're putting holes into plexiglass you got to have some special drill bits you can't use a standard drill or you will crack it and these drill bits are specifically made for plexiglass and I'll show you the big one you can see that the chamfer is much, much sharper than it would be on regular twist drill. And these won't crack the pucks of glass. And I drilled a couple half inch holes because that was the biggest drill I had. And this is so we can run wires through here, USB cables. So now the next step is to dress this edge off. And what I have is sandpaper starting from about uh, 400 grit all the way up to 12,000 grit. So that will polish the edge of this. This is probably the most arduous task of this whole project, is getting that edge clean. So it's going to take a while, and I'm going to do it wet and dry, so I'm not going to be able to do video on it because uh, it's just too messy. Well, I'm done now with the uh, project, and I put a little bit of a uh, carpeting on the back of it, just so that it protects the truck a little bit. So let's try it out. And so here's the completed project, and it simply just fits here, down there like that and it's nice and secure and I got mounting surface here, a huge mounting surface for all the suction cups. And here's my center console with everything in place. I've got my Furion observation backup camera, I've got my tire minder DPMS system and they're both suction cup to the acrylic here. And if you look here you can see where uh, the cable goes through and yeah I mean it's a whole lot better and a whole lot more secure than trying to have stuff on a dash that might fall off. And I still got room for my sippy cup.